Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Nuka World spin-off of our Fallout 4 Let's Play. We are starting out here back in Kitty Land in episode 29, carrying on from 28, and we are basically being irradiated by green icky gas and tormented by a ghoul Where are you even going? who really has a death wish. There. But... We uh, need to turn those spritzers off. Would have been really handy to get that power armor out before this, but I did not, and I did not bring any with me. There is a poor soul who did not make it. A s couple of souvenir toy sloths. Eight pre-war money. An empty cash register. Let's see if we can slide behind there. Apparently not. I wonder if we can do it the other way. Yes. And were we rewarded with anything? No, not really. Maybe, maybe. Nope, nope. Okay. But we can go upstairs and uh, see what's up here. Another mannequin with another Nuka outfit. Sure, let's take that. Bottle cap and cappy orange, I think that's it. Throw eight by 16 rounds. Not going to bother blowing up the boxes because they haven't broken anywhere in Nuka World yet. Why start now? Um, let's see. Four bottle caps in this trash can. Nothing in the Nuka machine. A bottle in there. Can't blow up sunshine speakers. Employees only? Oh, well. Can't blow that up either. Oh, Something just wore off. Did I just come out the entrance again? I did. Well. It's a different entrance, though. I'm thinking. Okay. So, I did see another ride operating over here. On our last visit. Looks like we can get in here, too. Eight shotgun shells, five, 32 5 millimeter rounds. Oh, I cannot wait to find this guy. I still never found the announcer from the gauntlet either, did I? Nope. Switching to close range. Let's just be done with you. Silver tablespoon, though. We'll take that off your hands. And check out this trash can right over here. Eight bottle caps, Nukacade token. And eight Nukacade tickets. And another trash can for three bottle caps. And let's get back in that store and check it out. Store or whatever this is. A whole lot of nothing. Those misters sure get around though. Okay, and back to our cocktail of Radex, Radaway, and Stimpak. If you spit from this ride, you may be removed from the park. <laughs> Not a problems with that, huh? Hi. Oh, I was too close for that. Sorry. Another stim pack. 845 round stim pack. Don't need your table knife. We can disable your bathroom scale, though. <gasps> I wonder if I got hit by the ride or bathroom scale. Could turn the ride off. Or maybe I can't. So what's running it if the power is out? Hmm. Caution. Reload. And what do we got? Ten bottle caps. Okay, that one is down. This one is down. Bottle cap. Kickball would have been good for rubber, but we're just soaking up way too many rads for me right now to be overwhelmingly concerned. 
Okay. Four bottle cap silver locket. Hello, employee tunnels. If I was going to be controlling this mess, I would probably do it from the employee tunnels. Might want to switch to close range. Okay. An oil canister? That's tempting. Tempting enough to take it. Okay. One ghoul down. A forklift. This looks like it might dead end. Let's go check to the end and be sure. This looks like the kind of piles they might have ghouls come out of as well. In this case, we might be long enough range to go have some fun with Spray and Prey, which is just a hoot. Did I miss something over here? Just some boxes. Okay. Back down. Bottle cap, 438 rounds. Mmm, sloshy, sloshy water. Don't appear to be any ghouls hiding under it. And out we come on the other side, back down into stealth. Poor soul on the floor, but not a ghoul. Seven bottle caps, a used oil can, we'll grab that. Carrot planter. Like the janitor gas canister there is a toolbox wonder glue we'll take that 15 bottle caps and jet from the chem cooler another poor soul who didn't make it looks like they might have had a like a little settlement going on in here post-war melon planters and such should keep my eyes out for star course I haven't seen any yet gas canister We'll take that, and another one. Got a tool case with ten bottle caps and some duct tape and a silver table spoon. We'll take that empty paint can. Um, we slide that out, take a look inside, nothing. Okay, we're close enough range, we should switch to our combat shotgun. Looks like we've got a trolleyway here, a train, underground train station. And very much looks like what it is. This was definitely a settlement. Five, five, six rounds by nine. And a refugee terminal. Plasma cartridges by 28. Let's make sure it's safe before I take a seat at the terminal. Four bottle caps, wonder glue. Oh, we've got a chest here. Unlock expert. Does not look like there are any traps. No, no, a little bit less. There we go. Yes. And nine 10 millimeter rounds, 18 bottle caps, and a lot of nothing. We'll take the gun and leave the armor. 15 50 caliber rounds, nine fusion cells, patrolman sunglasses, sure, why not? Um, and let's just take a quick look in here. Hey, the employees had themselves a nice little lounge. Pool table. Pull Q. I guess that's just a hole in the desk. thought it might be a letter or something. Nuka Cherry. We'll grab that. Check out this machine, which is empty. And grab that coffee cup for ceramic. 15 bottle caps, 9 10 millimeter rounds. Checkered shirt and slacks. Okay, and a refugee terminal. As I scope it out like a dog for a nice spot to... Anyway, Nuka World. User Demora signed in. User logs. It actually happened. The enemy finally dropped the bombs on us. Thank God we had the plan. Everyone stuck to it. We couldn't talk sense into all of the park visitors, but we were able to grab a few out of the stampede and take refuge in the employee tunnels. Oswald and Rachel did a pretty good job stocking up down here. We've got preserved food and seeds and water from the pump systems, tools, extra lumber, just about everything, really, except for weapons. That was Mitchell's job, and we don't know if he survived. We just got to keep calm about this and ride it out. That crazy bastard. It's been about a week since the bomb fell, and we'd all written Mitchell off for dead, 
Then he comes rolling up in a semi half full of guns, explosives, food, medicine, chemicals, you name it. Said he'd been busy gathering the rest of what we'd need to fortify King Kitty Kingdom. He had some blood on his shirt, but when Oswald started to ask him about it, we all told him to just leave it alone. I mean, Mitchell's a crazy bastard, but right now I'd rather have him on our side. I certainly wouldn't want to go up against him. We blew up the service tunnel passages connecting to the other areas of the park. If things don't calm down in another few weeks, we'll head outside and barricade the gates. Radiation storms. Fighting outside has died down a bit, and we've barricaded the gates to Kitty Kingdom. While we're finishing up, a weird storm started to blow in over the horizon to the east. We barely had time to finish up, and when it hit, it hit hard. I've seen all sorts of storms, but this one was different, almost like a tornado with green lightning arcing through the sky. We all ended up taking shelter where we could, but a few people just got sucked into the vortex and were just gone. We were trapped for hours while that crazy storm passed over. It must have been picked up... It must have picked up the fallout from Boston because everyone has been sick for weeks now and can't and quite a few have died. Those of us who haven't are changing. The preparedness videos never said anything about this. Some sort of affliction. We've been alive here for over a hundred years now. The change has affected all of us. It seems as though our bodies have adapted to the radiation. Our features have become twisted and distorted, but we no longer felt ill. Unfortunately, it seems like this change has affected some of us worse than others. First it was Mitchell, now Herman. They aren't speaking anymore, and they just seem to shuffle around growling. If we try to hold them back, they start to get violent. We've tried everything we can think of, talking to them, medication, every possible remedy for a cold or illness, but whatever this affliction is, we can't seem to beat it. Rachel's convinced that it has to be an illness of some sorts. The rest of us just call it the affliction. I pray we'll find a solution before it takes us all. And I believe that is the end of the user logs. So we will exit the terminal. D. Morris's terminal. So it looks like they had a plan, but their plan had a flaw in that they hadn't counted on the radiation storms. Foot locker with 24 flamer fuel. Fashionable glasses they can keep. Okay, this looks like it goes somewhere long, so let's check that uh, other area over here back down into stealth. On the plus side, at least we don't have to listen to sunshine up there on the speakers. On the minus side, I'm not what as convinced. What are you doing out of costume again? You know Nuka fires people for breaking character. Yes, of course, I'm kidding. But seriously, the clown makeup helps scare the invaders off. And there's a new one in the park. Okay, let's see if we can't just no, drop down no, and say hi. I don't think that's going to work this time. There's something different about this one. Oh, nuts. I can do that too. Now, stop squirming. Sorry. I know you can't help it. We just have to hold out till she gets back with a cure. Then okay, we'll and down. the raiders out and get the farm back in order. We'll fix this. I promise. There. Door. And of course, Sunshine had a trick up his sleeve. Summer shorts. Well, I guess I got something else. Bobby pin box, summer shorts. Paint can. That's going to have metal and oil. Take both of those. Okay, they're a little heavy, so I don't think I should take all of them. Kitty Kingdom tunnel keys. Pump control system. Yeah, let's check this out. System access. Current status system on. Safety warning. Unsafe levels of radiation. Water purify setting. Administrative override. Turn off mist sprayers. Yes. Thank you. And whoops. Let's make sure. Um, unsafe current status system off. Okay. And back. And user logs. The first attack. Fran Fowler signed in. It's been a few weeks since the bombs fell and we've been attacked for the first time. It wasn't even a big group and they weren't as well armed as we were. During the fight I froze up when some grocery clerk charged Evan from behind. He was knocked to the ground and was about to have his head bashed in with one of those gumdrop decorations when Mitchell blew the clerk's brains out. Now Evan is pissed at me for not watching his back. 
damn world has ended and I have to deal with a pissed off boyfriend. Why is this happening? It's been a few months since the radiation storm started. 23 people have died so far and I'm starting to wish that I was one of them. My skin looks like a prune, at least in the places where it hasn't fallen off. A couple of the others seem to have stopped changing, but they look terrible. Half of my hair has fallen out. Another clump just fell out while I was typing this. Evan's hair is gone entirely, and I can barely stand to look at him. We had a huge fight about it, and now he's moving his stuff out of here and up to the clock tower. I felt like a monster chasing him off, but maybe it's true. Maybe I am a monster. Maybe we all are. Contamination in the water. Some sort of alarm woke us in the middle of the night. It looks like the water intake pipes are contaminated. I mean, the water is practically glowing. The alarm must have been some sort of automated failsafe to protect the park. We'd all heard the rumors about Nuka World having some sort of reactor in the bottling plant. God only knows what they put in that quantum stuff. The heck with it. It's been over a year now, and if the radiation from the storms hasn't killed me yet, what's a little more? I'm going back to bed. Found a use for the sprayers. We were attacked by a huge mob today. They almost made it to the castle this time. As we were trying to drive them back, I had an idea. We may be immune to radiation now, but these people probably aren't. I ran into the tunnels and turned on the park's water sprayers. In minutes, the attack was over. Man, we should have been doing this for years. When Evan heard it was me who figured it out, he kissed me until I couldn't see straight. I don't know if it means things are totally good between us again, but hell, I'll take it. The affliction is getting worse. The affliction sweeping through our people is getting worse. It took Herman last month. He knew it was coming. We all did. Until Rachel can figure out some way of fixing this, I'm afraid we're all going to end up like that. We've survived radiation storms, starvation, attacks, and God knows what else for over a hundred years now. But how can we fight this? It's not fair. I don't know if I'm just angry or if this is a sign that I've got the affliction. God help us all. Okay, and that was user logs. Okay, so shotgun back out. And I think that's pretty much it for this room. Let's see what else we've got in here. At least we got the sprayers off. I don't know that this is going to lead anywhere exciting, but... We will see. We can get an oil canister, military-grade circuit board, and a used oil can. Good scavenging in Nuka World. Getting it all back. Or at least some place to use might be another challenge. But let's get back up the stairs here and out of the radioactive goo. And... Clean striped suit and a cue ball. That would be good for plastic, but there is a way up here. Where does it go? Back out to Nuka World. Let's see where that other long passageway went. Water cooler. The break room with the pool table. And we wanted to go up this way. We've checked that box, so we're going down this hallway now. And down into stealth. And just unlock Kitty Kingdom Tunnels key, which I do believe we have now. Let's check it. To see where we end up. Well, by the giant lollipops, of course. I think we... I don't know. There's a ghoul. Oh, no. You shut off my defenses! Oh, wait. I'll just turn these back on! Of course. Gonna find him. I don't care if he's the sweetest guy on the planet. I don't care if he's... Just a poor, misunderstood soul. Gonna find him. Nine bottle caps. And I will remove his affliction. Both ways, stupid. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, relax, Mr. Charred Feral Ghoul. And you too, Sunshine. Well, if ghouls are plenty here in Kittyland, a military grade tuck 
duct tape. Oh, sorry. Didn't continue to service you. Two fusion cells, toy alien, you can keep that. I'm going to check five fusion cells and dodge that car and get back up here. All right, well, you know what? For now, let's get out of the radiation for the between time because I think we are going to call episode... Is this 28 or 29? Boy, I don't remember. Whichever episode this is, we're going to close this one and we will, of course, be back next time. Let's get our glowing sea cocktail going get cleaned up a bit and i would like to thank you for joining me on this trip through kitty land and i would also like to thank you guys for being the best community out there truly i really do appreciate your kind words and support and you guys are truly awesome i would also like to remind you that i have a twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page if you're on mobile it'll be on my channel about page also, if you look in the upper right-hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe and ask you to please take care.